so I haven't put any thought to this video because I just wanted to make something and I will do, I don't know, a clothing haul or something, but ignore the mess here. <laughs> I haven't made my bed. I'm going to pick some random clothes and do like a clothing haul because I, <laughs> I didn't plan anything for this. Um... Yeah, let's get to it. <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm presenting in front of a class? Like, I don't know what clothes to pick. So half of my clothes are like thrifted because clothes that are, <laughs> clothes that are from like Uniqlo and what do you call it? H&M, they're like expensive and thrifting stuff is fun because there's always different stuff there <laughs> damn this is so awkward so i'm going to show you what i normally wear but i want to try something that i haven't like put on like an outfit i haven't tried on yet so i would challenge myself for that okay this is my favorite um button up as you see, it's like checkered, green, and brown. I don't know. I like the way how it fits on me, and I could basically wear it with anything. I got some like vests, but I don't know what to combine it with. The one I wore like a few times. I don't know. I got so much vests. So this one. This one was actually like cream or something, but I dyed it black, so I had to use like two bottles of it. But I only wear it once, and I call this the Indiana Jones vest. I'm sorry for the lighting, like it's all blurry. And I got this vest. I'm gonna try to fit it with this, like build an outfit with this vest, cause I haven't used it. The one I wear the most are this. It's like a basic Nautica, like, vest. It's like oversized on me, which is what I like. And then I got this green one that I only wear like twice because they're hard to build an outfit with, that's why. And then I got this, like, skater style vest by Hurley. This one wasn't thrifted. I found this at Ross. Good find. So I would challenge myself to style this vest. And I know it's going to look ugly. Um, let's get into it. <coughs> I have this on. So I need to build an outfit with it. I know it's I'm gonna look like a grandpa. Like when I bought this. The inside of the pockets had like a handkerchief and I threw it because it was nasty. What if some old person like just blew their nose on it and then just threw it in their pocket? <laughs> I, I almost smelled it. I smell everything, which is disgusting and you shouldn't do it. Since I'm Filipino and I go to Seafood City, they have like merchandise from them and... I found this tote bag and it's very um, cute and stuff but I like it but I don't know what to use it for I wanted to use it for groceries but it's gonna get dirty I like to read stuff so I might use this as like a library bag well I might style this with my outfit I'm going to challenge myself to do like two or three outfits if I can. Like every time I wash my hair, it's always greasy and like all the dandruff is like snowing and then it gets on the table and computer and then like you wipe it out. It's nasty. Like I've used everything like the head and shoulders, um, the prescription graded stuff and I still get dandruff and my hair is like greasy. So I've never worn this because I don't know what to wear it with. 
Like, I love sweaters, but they're so hard to style. I know you can, but I don't really have a good eye for it. So I will give it a shot with this too. Got this gray cargo pants. Oh no, this is not going to be good. Gray cargo pants with, um, I mean the color goes well, but I don't know how it's going to look on me. But this, so I need to build the long sleeve or like the shirt part. Um, I don't know. Okay, the best thing I can do is um, this corduroy, red corduroy um, button up or this long sleeve, just green sole. <laughs> this green long sleeve that can go with it, I think, but I will give this a try. I mean, it's like, I mean, it's good. You know, you got like the dark green with the gray outfit and like the cream pops it up off more. <laughs> I ran out of breath on that. And the cream pops it out more. And I'm going to wear my outfits all with Doc Martens because they go well with everything what you wear and here's the tote bag here it is 360 okay will i go like this in public maybe not because it might look too ugly still <laughs> okay so our next outfit is ah uh, this one and I will have to build it completely new with not reusing these. Okay, I have like a mop neck. Maroon mop neck. Oh no, this is not gonna go good. And this? I'm gonna look so old in this. Oh my god. This is gonna look ugly. So I got this red button up. I mean, it's not too red, but it's nice. And this pants, like a dress pants. And I'm going to wear it with this. So see you later, guys. I actually don't know how I feel about this. It's like the length on the vest, like, I'm actually selling this on Depop, so if anyone wants it, can have it, <laughs> basically. Like, the length is so weird, like, it's like all the way up here, and then it goes like all the way down, and it's so awkward. Ugh. Oh, I'm put it off. <laughs> I'm going to do one more without the vest, because it's a lot of thinking to do. Uh, I'm going to do a bonus one with the overall. Ugh. Oh my god! So I'm going to use the overall. It's actually kind of big on me, but they're expensive. So I got a stain on this because I wore this when I was painting the wall over here, which it looks ugly because I painted over the line. Where is the stain? I know I have a stain here. Maybe it's gone from the like soap. Oh, cause I cuffed it to hide the paint. I'm gonna leave it like this. <laughs> so I'm gonna use this as my main outfit this sweater it's kind of big on me but i like it i might actually reuse this because i don't want to keep on changing my shirt because i have a lot of hangers already powered up and i have to like hang them again in the closet and 
this is gonna be the last one because I'm tired. Okay, this one is not that bad. But I don't know how I wore this like two times because the arms are so long and I have to go like this. I don't know what happened, but I think I would wear this 360. <laughs> And yeah, I'm tired now, so I'm not going to do more outfits. And my next video might be like a book review because I read so much books since, you know, everything happening this past two years, this virus. <laughs> so I'm beginning to read a lot and... I have books that I really don't like, but I just end up finishing it anyways, some of them, but some of them I just like stopped because it was that bad. And the recent ones that I'm going to finish within a week or this week are Pet Cemetery and Six of Pros. I'm going to do like a short rant before like the final video comes up. This. Sorry, I don't like the writing on this. Cause it's so slow. He goes on pages on pages about what they are thinking in their, what do you call it? In their minds, like the characters. It was just so slow and this could have been reduced. Because it felt like a short story. I only have like a page on my own. Because I'm almost done with this. Like 518 out of 540. So this is like the first Stephen King that I read. So I don't know if I should read other books by him. Because I heard mixed reviews on this. I was planning to read it. But I don't know if his writing is going to be like that too. And I see that there are books that are better than others. So this one's like in the middle, I think. I might do like a more in-depth review of these two books because I want to go on a rant. <laughs> Six of Crows is very popular, but it was so confusing. Oh my God. Like people are like, oh, don't worry about the first two chapters. And like by chapter three and on, you are going to get the plot, but I kind of do get the plot, but people are like, oh, you should read the one before it, the trilogy, The Shatter and Bone, but I decided not to because a lot of people were like, they could know what's happening from just reading this and I'm not really getting it because there's like a lot of magic elements that I don't get. And I can't even pronounce things, but I only have 100 pages or so with this, so I could finish this within the end of the week. But I'm planning to read the one after it, Crooked Kingdom, and I heard a lot of people cry from it. And what do you call it? People are saying it's better than this one, so I might give that a try too. So, but the overall, like, the plot was very fast, so I like it. The one I'm reading now is Dune. So this is weird because I get this more than this. I think because this one is like actually like the very first one compared to this because this one connects to the other books written by her. So I'm, I'm beginning to like this book already. And I'm going through it kind of fast. I'm on page 54. And I might buy the other five books by him because I love his writing. It's so good. But a lot of people are saying they don't get it, but I kind of do get the stuff that's happening because there's like some magic elements that he puts in and you could find it in the dictionary that he puts in. Or the terminology page over here. 
but I'm overall liking it. So I might finish this very short time because I love the writing <laughs> compared to the other two books. I'm sorry because I know a lot of people like this book, but it was okay. I think because I got overhyped. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm going to continue reading this. I have a lot of books that I haven't read, so there's that. I have nothing else to talk about, so get ready for me writing, ranting the books for another time or so. And yeah, if you like this, please subscribe on the box over here and like, like the video because it's good. <laughs> and yeah, thank you.